Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with all the products that I want to finish up in 2022. I have quite a long list of products to get through so I'm just going to jump straight into the products. But before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just jump into the video. So, I have, like I said, a long list of products to get through and I have them somewhat organized by product category. So I'm going to start with eyeshadows because I actually have a few eyeshadows I want to finish up this year. First up, we have two Super Shock shadows. Um, I have pan on both of these because I have pan on all of my Super Shock shadows. And these are two of my absolute favorite shades, which is why I want to finish them up. The first shade is the shade Lightning Bug, which is this beautiful kind of orangey gold shade you can see the shine in there it's absolutely stunning so that is the first shade i want to finish up um i really really love this because it is so sparkly um, and it's a beautiful neutral shade as well so that's going to be the first one the second one is more of a cool toned one it is in the shade revolution and it's this kind of purpley shade again with loads of sparkle in it it's not as sparkly as um lightning bug but it's definitely still very sparkly and i just love the shade of this it's very unique and it's again quite neutral but it's still a little bit different um, and that's why i like it so much so those are the two first two items i have three more eyeshadows to go and these are actually cream eyeshadows and um, they're all from stila and these are my glitter and glows um, i want to finish up all three of these because they are getting a bit older and i'm scared that they will dry out and i currently have the shade kitten karma sea siren and um smoldering satin and i do want to finish up all three of them so you can see what they look like there and you can also see that i already have quite a bit of use in all of three of these um i think i do need to kind of revive some of these um before i use them but hopefully i should be able to use up most of this but if it comes to the end and they are very dry and i have a little bit left at the bottom i'm not gonna be fast finishing up that similar to what i did with diamond dust last year because i'm just mainly want to get as much use out of these as possible before i get rid of them so next up we have a roller from last year we have three of my eyeliners from colourpop we have and um, these are all the cream gel liners we have the orange one which is in the shade puppy we have the sh green one which is in the shade teaspoon and then we have the pink one in the shade boots so all i won't finish all three of them this year they are getting a bit drier but they're still workable and i did finish up quite a few of these and uh, last year uh, but these are the remaining ones that i have and once i finish these up i do want to get some new colorful liners because the cream gel liners from colourpop just aren't my favorite anymore so that's why i want to move these out i have two more eyeliners i want to finish up they're both quite small as you can see because i already used quite a lot from them the first one is an isadora uh, eyeliner in the shade bronze which is this warm brown you can see it right there again not much left of it so i should be able to finish that up this year then the next one is one of my NYX um, pencils. This is the Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. And again, it's already quite used and you can see it there. Uh, this is one that I can use on the waterline quite easily. So I, I don't think this is going to be any problem. And this one I just have to get into the habit of using because it is again quite a neutral shade. Although it is very, very warm toned. Uh, but yeah, I think these two will be easier to finish up than um, the Colourpop Cream Gel Liners. The last eyeliner type of product is uh, my glitter liner from H&M. This one is the Glitterati Mascara Liner in the shade Starlight. And this is a beautiful glitter liner. I don't really think you can show it, see it properly on camera, but it has lots of like blue, green, purple, pink glitters in it. It's very, very dimensional. And I already used quite a lot of this up already, so I don't think it's going to be much of a problem to finish it. Um, and hopefully I will be able to do that this year. Um, I think the way I'm going to use this mainly is as an accent or maybe like on the inner corner and things like that, because all over the lid is not the best. It kind of dries down quite crackly and it's quite thick so i think it's gonna be best as an accent kind of thing but um yeah i don't think it's gonna be any problem finishing this one up either next up we have a product that isn't actually that old in my collection but i do want to finish it up because it's not my favorite uh, and that is the p louise base um which is the eye primer i have mine in the shade rumor 2 uh this is like the skin toned one i also have a white one which i'm not too fussed about finishing this year but i do want to finish this one up um, it's not my favourite because I found that with these my eyeshadows crease very badly throughout the day. So yeah, they're definitely not my favourite. Um, they work fine as a base when it comes to like making eyeshadows pop and things like that. But it does not make my eyeshadow last at all and that's why I want to move this one out. This one is very very full so I think it's going to take quite a while to finish up. But hopefully I should be able to move it out in a year. At least fingers crossed. 
um, and I'm gonna try something else after that because yeah I do kind of regret buying these because they're not uh, my favorite at all and I think even concealer works better than these underneath uh, eyeshadow. I have one foundation that I want to finish up this year and that is my Armani Luminous Silk foundation. I have mine in the shade 4 um, and yeah I haven't used this too too much but it's one of my absolute I think it is my oldest foundation now. Um, I do also I think this is one of the only foundations that I have left from 2020 so no wait it must have been 2019 when I bought this uh, and it's, it's one of the only two foundations that I have left that's the same age as this I also have the dream cover foundation which I didn't think was that old but um, I bought that later in the year so that's why but this one like I said is a bit older um, and I do want to smooth it out before it goes bad because this is a very expensive foundation um, but yeah I don't think it's gonna be a problem finishing this I'm probably gonna finish up more foundations than this but this is just the one that I want to focus on next up we have two blushes that I want to finish the first one is a rollover from last year that is my Clinique blush uh, and this is the blushing blush powder in the shade precious posy um, as you know I was working on this last year and I got pretty good uh, usage on this but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not done. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna try to finish this up this year. And I have been tracking uses because when I first rolled this into the product, it was completely brand new. I might have maybe used it once, if that. I definitely swatched it, but I don't think I've ever used it. So I've been tracking every use on this and it's interesting to see how many uses it takes to finish up blush up. Uh, this one is 3.1 grams. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna continue tracking this and hopefully finishing it up this year. The second blush that I want to finish up this year is my Benefit Coralista blush. Um, I already have pan on this and I do have quite a lot of wear in it. But I do want to finish this up because it is quite old in my collection. And it's also very similar to the Milani blush in Luminoso. And I just feel like moving one of those two out would be good. And this one is the older one and it's also the one that I um, had more use on. So that's the one I decided to go for. This is one that is um, a bit more neutral. This one is definitely going to be easier to use than this one. Although both of them... Um, are not that out there blushes and they might look quite similar but this one is definitely have a brighter base as you might be able to see so this one I have to be much gentler with compared to this one uh, so I think this one I should be able to finish up this year although I have quite a lot of product left because I can definitely apply more of this um, when I use it so those are the two blushes that I want to focus on this year I also have two highlighters that I want to finish the first one is my Mary Luminizer I don't have too too much use on this, I mean there's a little bit of a dip in the center but I don't think you'll be able to pick it up on camera, maybe a little bit there. Um, but I don't have pan or anything but I do want to finish this up this year because it is one of my older highlighters. And I just also feel like this is not a really a unique shade or anything and um, it was very lovely when it came out because it was one of the first highlighters that were quite intense that I tried and I think in the market as well because it was a cool classic for a reason but I feel like since then a lot of other brands have come far away when it comes to highlighters and I just feel like it's time to use this one up so that's going to be my main highlight that I want to finish up this year and then I also have a liquid highlighter which is my Sunbeam from Benefit I absolutely love this product and I don't even think you can get this anymore but it is very very old and it has gone quite gloopy I used this last year so I know it still works fine but I know it's time to use this one up before it goes bad uh, so hopefully I should be able to use this one up as well um, especially in summer because I love this when I have a bit of a tan so that's going to be my focus and um, to get a little Mary Luminizer. So we have two more products to go before we get into lip products the first one is my Maybelline Baby Skin uh, Primer I actually got this very very recently from my friend Martina because she was decluttering it from her collection but um, I think this is going to be one that's quite easy to use up and um, I need to kind of put primers in this project otherwise I won't use them. So this is just one that I want to focus on. Um, I tried it a couple times and I really like it so I thought I would throw it in here. Then lastly before lips products like I said we have a bronzer and this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Uh, this is again a cool classic and I don't think you can get this anymore. You can get it but it is reformulated so it's not the same which is a bit of a shame but this is very old in my collection and it's time to move this one out. Out. you can see that I already have pounded it and I have quite a big dip as well so hopefully I should be able to use this one up although it does suit me better um, in summer or when I have a bit more of a tan so hopefully um, I should be able to focus on it then but if it does kind of come into winter as well, and I have to use it in winter as well that should be fine uh, because I'm really determined to get this one out this year then the 
the rest of the products are lip products, as you can see. Um, I have quite a few here, but I'm just going to breeze through them. Because if you haven't seen my Apocalypse uh, product pan introduction, then um, all of these are in that project. So you can make sure to check that video out to get more information on each lipstick. But because I've already gone through them in more detail there, I'm just going to breeze through them um, to show you what I have in this project. So the first one, we have, well, first we have five MAC lipsticks. We have the shade Plumful, Rebel, Angel, Sea Sheer and Costa Chic. So those are the first five uh, MAC lipsticks that I want to finish up. I also have some lipsticks that are very ancient. Um, these are called classics as well. These are my Revlon lip butters. These are the only remaining four that I have. So we have Sweet Tart, Pink Truffle, Candy Apple and Wild Watermelon. So those are the next four. We have three Colourpop uh, lip lipsticks. They're all the matte X formula that I want to finish up this year. The first one is uh, She Bad which is a nude. Then we have Mirror Mirror and sauce. So those are the three color of lipsticks I want to finish up. Then we have three kind of miscellaneous lipsticks before we have some lip glosses and lip liners. The first one I have is my Chanel uh, Rouge Coco lipstick in Paradise. Then we have my Chanel Rouge Allure lipstick in, in Seducente. That is um, the second one. And then the third miscellaneous one we have is one of my YSL lipsticks and this is one of the Rouge Pure Coutures in number 13. So those are all the bullet lipsticks that I have but I have a few more lip products to go. So I have two lip glosses that I want to finish. First off is my Clarence Instant Light Lip Perfector in the shade 02. I'm currently working on this in Real Life Pan Collab, uh, but I do want to finish it this year. Then we have my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. So those are the two lip glosses that I want to focus on. And then lastly we have three lip liners that I want to finish up this year. First off, we have this little knob right here, which is a MAC lip liner in the shade Hip and Happy. And we have one more lip liner from MAC in the shade Soar, which is much longer as you can see, but it's more of a new color, so hopefully that should be fine. And then lastly, we have one of my NYX lip liners in the shade Prune, which is more of a plummy kind of purpley shade, as you can see right there. So those were all of the lip products that I want to finish this year. And that is also all the products that I want to finish this year. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any specific products you want to finish this year and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys!